One of our challenges is at, at Evolution is to try to express all these different pieces that we can do um, to communicate to a pilot what the value in that is because pilots don't care about this underlying technology. Whether it's modular or not isn't the piece they care about. What they care about are the results and what we're trying to show here is a lot about what those results actually are in terms of how you can make a panel that is custom to an aircraft and the type of flying that that particular aircraft and pilot are going to do and the taste of that particular aircraft and pilot. So here's actually a real life story of this. We were introduced to a company that is producing an electric VTOL. We gave them the same speech about how we can do all these unique things and you know, we're very flexible and they said, well, excellent because we need an engine display for our electric VTOL that's gonna show eight motors and torque, RPM, inverter temperature, all these parameters that are not normal engine parameters for a typical aircraft. And we need all these displayed on a panel. And we said, perfect, that's exactly what we do. And we chose the unpanel as the form factor for that. Mm -hmm. You know, they sent us money to build the display and they go, by the way, our investor's coming in a week. Can you have this together for us in one week? And we were actually able to assemble the panel design based on the sketches they provide us, lay out the instruments, and build the connector piece that pulled their actual flight data off the CAN bus and ship it to them all within one week uh, to meet their desired uh, deadline. So it was a, uh, a pretty intense project, but it gives you a sense of the uh, power that, is, that comes out of this architecture. If you look at XFS, it's not just about being avionics, but it's about being a toolkit on which people can build ideas, take them from a concept to a product much more rapidly. So when you see our moving map, don't think that that is the moving map for XFS. We want to be able to supply a marketplace for people to be able to provide any moving map here that you as the aircraft builder could say, I want to have a moving map from vendor A or B or C and throw that in the background instead of the one that comes freebie with there. We're more like sort of the Android market as opposed to the iPhone in the sense that we want to enable other people to be able to bring products to market within the platform that we've created rather than trying to be the only source for everything that you get. So we'll work with MGL, we'll work with GRT, we work with iLevel, for example, and you can take your choice of who you want to use for your AHAR sensor. Any vendor that's willing to share their specifications, we're willing to include in here so that the person assembling the aircraft has a lot more choice about what brands of products they want to integrate. And if somebody comes up with a new product, it becomes easy to integrate that without having to totally change the user experience. Aero TV is brought to you by Trig Avionics is proud to announce the new 1.3 inch slimline TX56A and TX57A Navcom. Featuring a high resolution display with the graphical CDI, configurable memory, two play stereo intercom, and a built in VOR LOC converter, the TX56A will enhance your navigation and communication through all phases of flight. Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simple avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com